You know my next guest tonight from How to Get Away with Murder. She now stars in the powerful drama The Birth of a Nation. Please welcome Asia Naomi King. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Right. <laughs> um, hey, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks that's for having me. That's a beautiful me. top you have oh, on there. Thank you, Jonathan Sunkai. I would have said. <laughs> I would have said. I know you're you're up with it. You know what's I'm going down. on. Yeah. Up with it. Yeah. <laughs> now, before we get started, happy fall, and I understand that you had an exciting summer. You did something with your father. That will live with you for the rest of your life. What is this thing that happened uh, to you again? So my dad and I were very close, and we actually hiked part of the Pacific Crest Trail. That's like a thousand miles, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, we, we didn't do a thousand miles. We did about eighty miles from the the border of Mexico up to uh, up to Julian. So that's like. 80 miles. We did 80 the miles. The desert, right? In, in desert It mountain. felt like a thousand miles, I it, bet. It definitely felt like a thousand miles. Were like snakes and Gila monsters and... Snakes. My father at one point thought that he heard a mountain lion, but chose to not tell me about it, which... So this was, <laughs> this was later? He said, by the way, did you catch that mountain lion out there? It was like the next day he was like, yeah, I, I didn't want you to go over there because I, I was pretty sure I heard a mountain lion, but, you know, in case it wasn't, why freak you out? How does your father know what a mountain lion sounds like, by the way? I, I don't mean, think I could a identify him. He's cool guy, you really? know? Really? Yeah, he just, he knows this kind of stuff. But there are no troubles out there? Uh, well, everything was going great, and um, uh, the last day, our last day of hiking, we had about 14 miles to go, and we were going to be at Julian, but we, at, at, at about mile 10, we ran out of water. Oh, that's not good. In that's the no, it was not you good. That, you need that. You need that to live, Asia. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I am. I am fairly aware, and uh -huh. and it was it was pretty tight the whole day. So by ten by ten miles, when we ran out, um, my father was he's gonna kill me. He was struggling just just a little bit, uh, and he actually he turned to me and said, "Go ahead without me. Get to the highway. Stop a car and get some water." Oh my God! And bring leave me back. here. I'll be fine. Leave, leave me to the mountain lines. Like, I'll leave be me fine. here to the mountain lines. So did you? Uh, did you make it to the highway? I well, yeah. I just took off running through the desert and like and while I'm running, just I'm randomly like, through the desert. Yeah, by myself. That seems like terrible like, advice. Like with my. <laughs> With my my like my my pack and my trekking poles in my hands still, I'm just right. like racing through the desert to get to the highway, and and I, I tried to also like call my sister and I had like five percent battery left on my phone and I was like, oh, good lord, five percent battery on the phone. The pioneers also had very low battery life. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. That's what happened to the Donner Party. They ran out. Of, they ate each other because their and that's, batteries that's what happened. ran low. Exactly. Yeah, and like you know, my sister Chanel was like, I'm an hour away, and I was like, Daddy told me to go on without him. We ran out of water. <laughs> And? So Does she, she calls for you. Well, she she calls my mom. My mom calls the police. The police call the fire department. So I want to say my father's totally fine. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> and a car a car on the highway did stop, and he gave me a huge bottle of cold red Powerade. This angel of a man, and I did take it back to my dad. And about an hour after that, as we saw the helicopters <laughs> circling the area where we were, my father looks at me and says, All I told you to do was go and get some water. <laughs> but is that got a happy ending? It's it's got happy, a happy ending. ending. Right, yes. and it's sponsored by Power Right, right. That's yes. Good. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, you're on the great show, How to Get With Murder. Mm -hmm. Uh, my question for you is, have you learned, finally, how to get away from, with murder? Yeah, like, do you, well, do you actually, do you know some things about how to get away with murder that know, the rest it, of us don't it, now? It would be really difficult to get away with murder, I've realized. Like, yeah. as, you know, being on the show, I've learned, like, mm, that's, that's not quite right. We would, there would be fingerprints, you could ping our cell phones. We're, we're definitely gonna get caught in this moment, I think. Mm -hmm. And... One way would be to lead an old man into the desert and just leave him there. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Just advice. Just you know, advice. Like, just advice. I mean, the PCT yeah. is a place you can. Well, now you're in an incredibly powerful movie, um, Birth of a Nation, which um, you know, strangely actually takes its name from a, an, another movie, the D.W. Griffin mm -hmm. movie, Birth of a Nation. What did you think when you heard that they were making Birth of a Nation? 
Look, when you first heard that title. Well, at first I thought they were trying to make like a sequel and I was extremely confused. Because <laughs> the, the first one is a heroic look at the Ku Klux Klan. Klan exactly. exactly. Yes. And so... Be a bold choice. <laughs> be like, I don't know how I look in a white hood. Yeah, um. exactly. exactly. And they're not going to make that movie. They're never, no one's ever going to make that movie unless Trump wins. <laughs> Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but when I did see that it was actually going to be about Nat Turner's slave rebellion in mm -hmm. 1831, I thought, oh, wow, a story about the true, like, the true story of black people in this country and the way we fought back. Amazing. Did you know much about that, uh, that uprising before I, you did the movie? I'm very embarrassed to say that I did not. I didn't know a lot about it. And, and I got to do a lot of great research, though, and I have found out so much, especially about um, mm -hmm. the woman that I play, Cherry. Uh, it's, it's really interesting there. She's Nat Turner's wife, She's right? Nat Turner's wife, sorry. She's Nat Turner's wife, and she, um, there was uh, an account in the Richmond Constitutional Wig printed September 17, 1831, and it's this piece of evidence that says, uh, I have in my possession some papers that I got off Nat Turner's wife, Cherry, by the lash. Um, so it really yeah. says in the newspaper that this person got documents by whipping the yes. character that you were playing. Yes. It must be an incredibly powerful thing to try to inhabit a character like that and understand what they're going through in this day and age. It, it really is powerful and, and it's an honor, you know, to, to be able to breathe life into her again because, you know, she existed. She was real and she went through this and, and stepping into that, even though it, it's, it was a very intense experience, I'm just really grateful that I had the opportunity to do it. Well, we have a, a clip here, and this is you talking to Nat Turner. And do you need to set this up in any way? Um, all I can say is at this point, the, the rebellion has happened, and you know, uh, a lot of people are being killed in the process of trying to find Nat Turner, who has escaped capture. Um, and, and we believe that there, like, there might have been a moment where she had an opportunity to kind of see him for one last time. Okay. Jim? Any word on the other man? They've been hanged. All of them. They killed people everywhere for no reason at all but being black. They say the killing won't stop till they get you. As I said, it's an incredibly powerful movie. Um, Thank you for that performance, and thank you for this in, 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 incredible opportunity for all of us to learn something about America's past in, the, in a heartbreaking but beautiful way. Thank it was lovely you. to meet you. So lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The Birth of a Nation opens today. Asia, Naomi King, everybody. We'll be right back.